Shalom, coming in the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai Ba Hashem, Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and to the hopeful of like pushing his word and truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth. Uh, I actually don't have a title for this uh, lesson or video, but um, you know, pretty much know what I'm going to talk about. It's all over the news, everywhere. <clears throat> now this is like one out of like hundreds of articles i just picked this one it says i'm not a conspiracy theorist but how does a bloke in a chewbacca bikini outwit the nation's finest and storm the capital exactly yeah there you go <laughs> it's the spirit i picked this one like it's a perfect question to ask obviously you know it's staged right because it's a good question to ask for someone that doesn't know what's going on. Like, how, did, how does someone dress like that, you know, outwit the nation's finest in the U.S. and storm the capital? Right. And there's a lot of things going on, you know. You know, so-called blacks versus so-called whites, you know. They have the whites not getting arrested and not getting killed and not getting shot at. If it was if it was the so called blacks, which are Israelites, you know, they would have been spraying them up with bullets. You know? That's just one example. Two, you know, it's it's the the, the capital. You tell me these people stormed the capital, they didn't get stopped. Apparently from what I was watching from videos, there's so many videos that are out. Um apparently the, the police were told to stand down to let them in. Okay, so all this stuff is staged. Um, apparently, these are Trump supporters. Right? They said Trump incited a... Actually, let's read some of this. It's hard to believe how the angry mob of Trump supporters managed to do what they did yesterday. And the absence of police and security guards was this... Guard Slakia. Was this the deep state's final humiliation of a president in, in it hated... Right, so this is long. Like, yeah, I don't really need to go into detail about what's going on here because I mean, everyone's been talking about this. Um, the one thing I did want to point out is that they always talk about The Simpsons, that TV show that's been airing forever. And I seen something scrolling on Instagram, right? Someone posted on their story, they said, This planet is crazy, place is a crazy place to live. The Simpsons did it again. See, right here, this is, this tells you that this is staged. Okay? It tells you that it's staged. How is it that the guy in the Simpsons commercial or Simpsons show has the exact same tattoos as the guy in real life? Right? I think the only difference is that the guy has tattoos, and like the one on his chest, it's, it's upside down. Like, the top should be on the bottom. That's the only difference. Were you telling me he has the same arm tattoo? He's wearing the same headgear, face paint, everything, holding the American flag? Are you kidding me? Really? Really? Yeah, this is all staged. This is all staged. Right? The funny thing is, they've been doing this for years, especially with The Simpsons. Yet people just say, oh, The Simpsons predicted it again. The Simpsons are predicted it again. The Simpsons is just showing you what's going to happen. That's all it is. The, wiki, the, the elite, they don't care. They put it in the show, right? They tell you what's going to happen, and it happens. Right? Like, it's crazy. It's crazy that people can't see that. Anyway, so I just wanted to show that. Um, it's going to be a short video. But... Cause, I mean, we already know what's going on. Like, you don't have to go too deep into this. It's not that deep. <laughs> you know? For someone that doesn't know what's going on, it's going to be deep for them because they're already they're still in the Matrix. So they even haven't... They're, st they're on, still on surface level. They haven't even hit deep yet. They haven't scratched the surface. So Matthew 12 and 26, And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? Right? So Satan's against Satan. You got Trump versus Biden. You know, you get the, the so-called blacks versus the so-called whites. 
you know. Um, their their system can't stand because they're it's divided. Okay, that's the whole point, right? If you take, um. Yeah, let's say you take a chair, you split it in two. Will it be able to stand? No, because it's divided. You know, it's very simple. So that's what's happening. You can so the good thing is like, good thing is that we're getting closer to the end, really close. Um, the other good thing is that the wicked elite are pushing their agenda. They're speeding it up. Now, the whole joke is that they think that by doing this, because the whole reason why they do this is to create chaos so they can establish the order. But the whole joke is the most high is, gonna establish, is the one that's really creating the chaos and he's going to establish his order. That's the whole joke. They don't know, they don't even realize they're being checkmated. They think they're checkmating the most high, but he's really checkmating them. Right? Um, yeah. So we're going to go to Luke. 11 and 18. Actually, I already pretty much already read this. So I'm going to go to this. We're going to go to Second Corinthians. Like a Second Corinthians 2 and 11. Second Corinthians 2 and 11, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Yeah, and we're not ignorant of his devices. We know what's going on. We know this is all staged. We know this is the, the least plan to create chaos, you know, because now you have the Black Lives Matter matters uh, groups getting angry because of what happened. You know, you have all these so-called black people, which are just Israelites around America, uh, going on the news and complaining about how these uh, white privileged people were not arrested or shot at, right? All this stuff is happening. They're creating their chaos. But we know what's going on. We know it was all staged. I just showed you proof that it was staged. They have it in, the, in television shows, cartoon shows. Okay. So the elect are not uh, ignorant of what's going on. Because they're watching. We have the power of Yahweh Shem Yoshai with us. So we can see what's really going on here. Oh, Slakio. That doesn't have Apocrypha. Second Corinthians or Second Ezra Slakio fifteen and sixteen. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes. So Let's go into the word sedition. <laughs> Rebellion, uprising, revolt, concerted, attempt to overthrow civil authority. Isn't that what just happened? Then they did storm the capital, right? Wasn't it a rebellion against the government? Wasn't it an uprising of people? Weren't they revolting, right? Didn't they attempt to throw the civil authority? Violent strife between factions, yeah, all of the above. Okay. For there shall be sedition among men, invading one another. They shall not regard their kings. They do not regard the kings, or princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Yeah. Right, and then the next thing is what's going to happen next, uh, will be verse seventeen. A man shall decide to go into a city and shall not be able and because that's going to happen because they're going to establish martial law because of what just happened at the capital right martial law is the next move right it's the next move so let's just wait watch and pray that it happens soon watch and pray stay, stay uh, circumspect Okay, it's going to come. It's just a matter of time. Matthew 26 and 41. Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. 
spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Right? So you have to watch and pray. Because uh, we're always supposed to be watching because we're watchers. Right? Hopefully like they're watchers. That's what they're referred to as. That's one of their titles. Right? We got to pray that this happens faster. But also it says pray that you not enter into, te- into temptation because um, things are getting crazier, especially Jacob's trouble, and that our temptation is going to come where they're going to offer you the chip. So you have to pray that you don't get into caught up in that mess and you're, and you're saved. Right? The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Yeah, the spirit is indeed, uh, indeed willing to do the right thing. Right? But the flesh is weak. The flesh is weak. So when something, any creature that's weak, it, it, it's going to find a way to um, get out of that situation. Right? By any means possible because it's scared. It's weak. It's defenseless. Right? So your, your fleshly body, no matter how many times you lift weights and stuff like that or whatever, it's still weak. Right? So your your fleshly body will get scared in certain situations that you can't control. Right? That's why you have to walk in the spirit all the whole time. Right? You walk in the spirit, you're going to do the right thing. But yeah, we're going to watch and pray for these times to speed up and also for you how Hashem Yoshai to save us out of the hour of temptation which is through Jacob's trouble where they're going to offer you the chip okay so we're definitely going to be watching for to see what's going to happen next you know checking news articles looking into the sky you know reading the scriptures you know comparing everything but I knew as soon as we, we hit 2021 I'm like, yeah, what the, they're gonna like last year, uh, Kobe Bryant died. He was killed, so I was like, I knew something was gonna pop up early in in this year, right? And it's just gonna be a downhill spiral after that. So that that was the first thing to pop up, and now we got more. More's coming on the way. Um, Luke twenty one thirty six. For a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Just like yeah, I don't know why I'm reading this one. Hmm. Oh, 36, Slakya. I was reading 35. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Yeah, so we got to watch and pray constantly every single day that we um, be accounted part of that number to escape, you know, jump into the chariots. Right, and, and escape this destruction that's coming. Right, because people are just like, they don't even understand what's going on. They don't understand how destruction is coming to this place. Especially in America, Babylon. They don't understand how destruction is coming there. They're just like, oh, the world's just pretty crazy, man. Just wait till this cools off. You know, things will get back to normal. It's like, no, it's not getting back to normal. It's getting worse. Right? Until it's, it's, it's just like in a storm, you know? It has to get worse for it to get better. Or when you're sick, it has to get worse before you can get better. It's the same thing. The earth is sick, right? And right now it's fighting off this disease, which is wickedness. Right? It's fighting off the disease. And the last the last thing to help fight off the disease is that fire, that heat. Right? Just like the earth, or just like your body when it's sick, it needs to turn on its temperature. That's why your body gets hot. Because it's trying to burn off that that sickness that you have, that flu, whatever it is. Right, because heat heat is a is a um, a cleansing agent. Even in your body, it's a cleansing agent. Right, you know when your nostrils are are clogged, you use like steam, hot steam, to open up your nostrils, or that uh, Vicks thing uh, rub that they have. It's it's heat. It's the same thing. The earth is sick. Right, and it needs to use that cleansing agent to rid itself of this disease, which is wickedness. Esau. So that's it on that. I have nothing else to say. Um, you know, like I, I said, you know, this is all stage. We know what's going on. We're watching, and they're like, they, they can't fool us. Right? This is just a big TV show. Esau thinks they're the director of this TV show, but really the most highs of the director. Okay? But like I said, I hope this lesson was edifying to the hopeful elect. I'd like to close off by saying, Ka hala Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakah Kwadash.
of our honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and to the hopeful of like pushing his word and truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth, death and destruction to this wicked kingdom, and the two thirds as well. Quam Yasharala, Abad Babal, Shalom.